so we got our glycol delivered. Steve met the guy at the road and he loaded him into the back of our pickup. And now we've got him on Little Red on a pallet so that we can move them into the building by the boiler. That's how much glycol our uh, boiler G7000 takes to be safe um, in the winter time, like if we if we left or anything, so it doesn't freeze up. So it's propylene glycol. All right, we got it strapped on, so it can't tip forward. Hopefully, pulled away from the truck a little bit to get the tailgate shut. There we go. We're gonna set it down slow so that. We don't go into the building with it's like up so high on the on the tractor. So there we go, a little at a time. Nice. Each one of those weighs 480 pounds. So Steve and I had to wrestle them out of the back of the pickup across the tailgate and, and put the pallet even with the tailgate so we could kind of just like wrestle them on there. So yeah, I think it'll work. Okay, we're gonna put them in the building right next to the boiler so when we're ready we can pump them in. So we're gonna use a a pump to get them into the boiler. So. I guess it's called a transfer pump. Steve bought a special one just for this because we need a little more oomph than the little one that we have that runs off of a battery. So, hi, hi Steve. set up over here right by the boiler so it's ready to go. Yeah, you would. Alright, gotta right, clean up a little here. There we go. Okay. Unstrap and kind of push them back on, I think, because the one is kind of leaning off of it now, so yeah. Okay, mission accomplished. Got them on the pallet. We got our inspectors helping us here. Kitty cats. So Steve's gonna back out with little red. <laughs> 